This segment of Hands-On Tools for Pre-K-8 to will focus on Britannica Online School Edition. Britannica can be accessed by clicking on Kid Resources, Encyclopedias and Maps, Students, or Alphabetically. Britannica Online Schools and Public Library both contain versions with appropriate material for Pre-K to 8. On the right-hand side, both have links to help. In the School Edition Pre-K to 12, you can select your school age level by clicking on View This Level. This includes a Britannica Learning Zone for the Pre-K to 2. Towards the bottom, there's a Search All Levels. The results will come back in columns, one for each elementary, middle, and high school. At the bottom are teacher resources, including curriculum standards that let you locate encyclopedia articles and EdGate lessons correlated to state standards. There are learning materials where students can review concepts and learn new skills. And there are training materials. Here you'll find PowerPoint presentations and guided tours for the various grade level Britannicas, search tips, training tips, and two great PDF handouts, Learn Social Studies with Britannica and Learn Science with Britannica. So let's look at the various levels. I'm going to start with the Learning Zone. This is for the pre-K to second grade group. They can explore various continents and countries. There's a section on play, some reading help, and a drawing unit. Elementary, just click on View This Level. Notice that both middle school and elementary have topic exploration, news items, the video clips, and the spotlight feature. The spotlight highlights topics such as the Holocaust, dinosaurs, rock and roll, Olympics, and the American presidents. For the American presidency, on the left-hand side, we can link to the vice presidents, first ladies, a link to information on the various political parties through history, the memorials and monuments, and source documents such as George Washington's farewell address. Back at the main page under features you'll find learning materials for various curriculum areas such as mathematics and here you'll find exercises including some manipulatives. You can change the curriculum area on the left hand side. Back under the features there's a newly added media collection with images and videos. These images and videos, as well as other Britannica content, can be placed in a workspace. Here it can be stored to continue work at a later date and shared with fellow students. The tab is here at the top. I can click on my workspace. Notice that I can create a new one and make a login or, if I've already created one, open my workspace and sign in. Now this is where I can create projects. For example, if I was working on a comparison paper of rainforests and wetlands, or doing research on the space shuttle, I can also add a new project. My material that I've saved has the links back to the article within the encyclopedia. When I placed it there, 
which encyclopedia I was searching, I can also type notes. At the top, there are tabs to export this out, email, and print this. So let's go back to my media. I can select a topic area, for example, land, air, and sea, and there's a rainforest photo. I can click on that and have several ways to add that to work, my workspace. I can save it to my workspace or anywhere in an, when I have articles or pictures, there's an icon. If I hover over it, it says save and I can select a project to place that in since I'm logged in and save that item to my workspace. Back to the features section, there are also biographies. There's a feature to compare countries where you can place them side by side and look at statistics and maps. There's a world atlas, beautiful timelines to follow a subject through time, and now a new feature where students can create their own timelines and add that to their research. At the very top, we have a search box. I can search in Comptons for middle school or search in the dictionary. Here are my list of results within the encyclopedia. I can click on the title to go in the article. Here's my icon where I can save that to my workspace. And on the right hand side, there's some media. There are also links to the Britannica Concise Encyclopedia where you'll get quick answers and short articles. There are journal and magazine articles from EBSCO and ProQuest. And as I scroll down below the media, there are learning materials. In this instance, there's a study guide that discusses habitats and environments since we searched the rainforest. Notice that I can also add that to my workspace as well. Let's select an article. Once we're in an article, I can click on Spanish Translator, which lets me hover over a word and it will be translated into Spanish. The text of my article and you'll notice it looks as if we've come to the end. At the very bottom, there is a link to next page. When you're reading along and come to a word that you need to look up, place your cursor over that word and double click. There are tabs across the top. I can save that to my workspace or use the icon. I can print this page, print this article, email this article, or click on cite article. The citation information appears at the bottom of the encyclopedia article. Notice that it has today's date so that when they create a bibliography, it will have the date accessed. On the left hand side, you'll find a table of contents so that you can link to that section of the article. For more review, at the top there is a link to a guided tour. And at the bottom of the page, a link to school and library information. If you click on free training materials, you'll find some how-to documents including how to use that workspace, more information on curriculum standards, and more information about those learning tools. And even more additional information can be found by referring to the segment Britannica Online for Public Libraries and Jump to Kids.